Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. The subject of the meeting of the beings together for the teaching is called the transfer of wisdom. Now, if you had to say what that means to you, which subject within that would you choose? Transferring from what to what? And the answer is there is so much yet to be transferred. Human to human, teacher to human, star mother to human. But there is one big one that should start them all. And it's the one that I have been talking about for years. My first time that my partner took me to the United Nations, I channeled there. He was very nervous. He had never been out of California. And suddenly he was in the big city. But when we started, he relaxed. One of the things that I spoke of to the delegates and the guests who were present in that meeting is that there should be in the United Nations a non-voting council of indigenous wisdom. Non-voting so they didn't threaten any delegates, any votes of any kind. But a council of wisdom for what? The indigenous. Why the indigenous? Because of all of the delegates, of all the religions represented at the United Nations, almost all of them have something missing. The wisdom that comes from the earth. And the wisdom that comes from the earth is current for your culture. There are so many who would say, well, that was then and this is now current for the culture. Did you know that there are certain cultures that are thousands and thousands of years old on a continent and they never overpopulated their villages? They figured out what caused babies. And they had children when they had resources and they didn't when they didn't. Now, where did that come from? That came from the earth. That was wisdom for the planet for them. If that had been followed today, it would be a different planet. That is wisdom right from Gaia. Some of you are here for the first time. This is a special area, an area where you can sit out in and have that kind of wind blow at your feet, you might say. A wind of Gaia, the wisdom coming up, saying welcome. Not all of the forested areas of this planet or even of this country have that. But there are certain places that have it more than others. This is where often the wisdom is truly passed from the earth to humanity. Wisdom that would say, be careful what you do because you're on the brink of something that you won't like. The wisdom of this planet is always there. And the interesting thing is this planetary teacher is also love-based. So much so that it has been called for centuries Mother Earth. It's the mother who is in a symbiotic relationship with you. Have you ever thought of that? Do you take it for granted that you breathe the oxygen that Mother Earth supplies? Or that Mother Earth needs that which is the carbon dioxide that you then despair? This symbiotic relationship is known in nature and you can see it everywhere and it is for survival. And the interesting thing about the one with humanity is that humanity ignores it. They don't understand it. They don't even realize that Earth is alive, very much so. Earth has a consciousness, not like yours, 
But nature itself has a consciousness. There is much to learn, dear ones, when you go outside. That's one kind of a transfer of wisdom. The wisdom of the ages has gone right into that which is the indigenous all over this planet, and there's enough of them left that you could sit at their feet and learn a great deal about what this planet has to say to help humanity in the next step. Part of an ascension consciousness for all of you is to realize that this is needed, that it's missing. Isn't it interesting that the organized religious plan, if you want to call it that, of, of, of most of the earth is not even there? There's no understanding that is there. So, where does this fall next? <laughs> it falls to you. You are starting to awaken to a grander truth. Awaken to a light. Teachings that are different. Uh, a, an entire paradigm of existence that is different. This is the time for so many things to be learned. Question, what do I start with? There's so much here, perhaps you haven't heard, or that's different. What do you do next? Where do you start? The answer is beautiful. You don't have to know. Each one of you is unique and will respond to what is next for you. If you have the courage to sit at the feet of spirit of the mountain and say, tell me what's next. Show it to me. You don't have to plan it. You don't have to figure it out. It's not something that is needed for you to know. For years I've been saying, you have such sophisticated automobiles. But when you get in them, aren't you nervous? Don't you have to find the manual to find out how it works? And the answer is no. You just get in and go. Why don't you just get in and go? With this planet, with all that there is, with all of the knowledge that is going to be imparted to you in these next days. Some of you will be on overload. Expect it. But don't be frustrated by it. Enjoy it, take it all in, and know this. This is not like your brain. Your brain remembers so much and then throws away the rest, and it is geared for survival. That's the brain. But the heart, and that is a metaphor, the consciousness that you have doesn't come from your brain. This is now starting to be proven. Your consciousness comes in with you from your soul. It is limitless in the things that it will respond to and remember and achieve. This is the message from all of the masters who could do so many things as human beings. Don't be overwhelmed at the amount of information you receive. Instead, just lap it up and say it's going right into that which is my consciousness, which will retrieve it when I need it. And that is the truth, dear ones. The retrieval of anything you hear in these next days will be instant when you need it. Cognize that. Know it. Relax. Sit at the feet of the teachers and just enjoy. Yes, I'm saying you don't even have to take notes unless you just feel you have to, to exercise your fingers but it goes right into this beautiful consciousness of your soul and stays and stays. And then that allows a transfer of wisdom that is far easier than when you're all trying to figure it out. I have one last thing. I want to talk to Meli Ha. She's listening. She's listening. She's listening. Meliha, I'm passing the baton. For years, getting going, I gave you advice for years. 
You went through a lot. Having lost a partner, having changed direction, living different places, figuring out what's next, waiting for the energy that you needed, going through accidents you didn't understand why they would occur, none of these things. A lot of people don't even know. I'm passing the baton. The star mothers are in you now. You won't have to have me to give advice. You're getting, you're getting it from the source, your source. You've arrived to where you should be. And at some level where you knew you could be at the wind of birth before you ever got to this planet, like so many others in the room, this is the awakening of why they're here and why you're here. The wind has arrived in your sails. And so it is. <laughs>